She taught me to love Jesus, first of all. She, she always made sure we were in church, no matter what. You know, and you know, back in the day, I mean, I can't believe I'm old enough to say back in the day. <laughs> but back in the day, we didn't have VCRs or DVDs or any of that kind of stuff. And so the wide world of Disney only came on on Sunday nights on one channel at 6 o'clock. And there were lots of times I would say, oh, I don't feel good. I'm tired. I don't want to go to church because I wanted to watch Disney, but she didn't buy that. She'd say, she'd do that guilt trip on you where she'd say, hmm. You didn't seem to be that tired last night when you wanted to go to that ball game, now were you? Or you weren't that tired when you wanted to go to the movie. So she taught me the importance of being in church every time the doors opened. No matter if you felt like it or not, it was a commitment. It wasn't a commitment to church, it was a commitment to Jesus. Because Jesus does so much for us, why do I have the right to be tired and not go worship Him when, it's, when the doors are open and we're supposed to be here? She also read the Bible to us every single night before we went to bed. That never stopped. Or, if we didn't read the Bible, she had a devotion book, and I still have it to this day. I still read it to my grandchildren. More little visits with God. And that more little visits with God meant that she read the Bible first, and this was just a more little visit with God. <laughs> She made sure that we did that. The only time I didn't appreciate that, and I'm going to have to share this because Ms. Drummond is sitting back there, but there are other women in the church that have also meant a lot to me, Miss Martha being one that taught a lot, Miss Drummond being one, but my mother would read the Bible every single night. Well, when I was, I don't remember how old I was, but they talked me into going to GA camp at Camp Helen. Well, I didn't particularly like camp because I was not a tomboy, I was a girly girl. And I didn't really like that camp. It was hot. They made us play softball at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't like to play softball. And they read the Bible to us all day long and all night. Well, Ms. Drummond, Mr. and Ms. Drummond's daughter, Teresa, was in a um, talent show because she could play the piano. I had no talent, so she, they came to see her. When I saw that little gray... Volkswagen come around that corner. I knew I was going home that night. They came to watch Teresa play the piano that night after it was over. I said, I'm going home with you. And she said, you got to stay here at camp and learn about Jesus. I've learned all about Jesus. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. And I remember crying and crying. And they called my mother and they said, and she said, well, let her come home if she's that miserable. So we got to go home. I went home with, you know, that night when I went to bed. I was so glad to be home, but you know what my mother did? She got the Bible out and read to me again. And that's the first time I said, I think I've heard it all. I didn't appreciate it then like I do now. But you know, it didn't matter. What she was teaching me through all of that was, it doesn't matter in hard times and good times and happy times and sad times. You pick up the Word of God and you read it no matter what. She taught me that. She also taught me to love others. I can't tell you how many times I've seen her and to this day she bakes things and takes to others when there's a need. And it doesn't matter whether she feels like it or not, she does it anyway. I can remember a time when my daddy was coaching at Athens College and um, there was a... Uh, athletic director that came in his family they had a newborn baby the baby wasn't even six weeks old but the mom was very sick they had no family here at all and so my mother said come on we're going over there we're going to take care of the baby and they let us bring the baby home and we took care of her until she got well well later on my dad led uh, Al was his name led Al to the Lord and Al became a minister um, she taught, they also taught me to love others, no matter what you do for others. Um, she also taught us the importance of manners. You know, manners are something we have to teach it over and over and over. But my mother was, a, she was amazing at that. She cooked three meals a day. Every morning before we went to school, we sat down and we had eggs and toast and bacon. You know, we're lucky to get a granola bar if you throw it at each other on the way out the door. But she did that every morning. We always had prayer before we had our, our food. And she taught the importance of manners because she wanted us to make a good impression on others. 
How many times, and if you've heard this, let me know, did she say, Mabel, Mabel, if you're able, get your elbows off the table. <laughs> so we need not ever sit like this at the table because that was not acceptable. She also taught us how to have fun. You know, that's, as, if you have a mom that you've had fun with, that's such a blessing. You know, she had fun with us. She would read to us and we would play games. She's the best Yahtzee player on the planet, I'll just tell you. But one of my most favorite memories was, again, back in the day, she had to wax the kitchen floor. We had a big kitchen floor. And you'd have to strip it and then you'd wax it. Well, then you had to make it shine. And to make it shine, she'd say, come on, it's time to make it shine. She'd go get some of my daddy's socks out of his drawer and give it to me and my brother. She'd turn on some music and we'd skate all over the kitchen, shine that floor. What a blessing I have had growing up. I can't tell you what a blessing she is to me. And even to this day, if things go wrong, she'll say, now, Leah, you know you've just got to trust in the Lord. His ways are better than yours. You've got to trust in the Lord. We still have fun. You know, we still laugh. We laughed the other day about something. And we still laugh and we still have fun. But the reason that is is because she has Jesus in her heart and because she was able to share that with me. Thank you.